gruppo dei conservatori e dei riformisti. La parola all'onorevole Legutko. Thank you, Mr. President and uh, ma Madam Chancellor. It's a privilege for us to have you here. You are certainly one of those politicians that has had decisive influence uh, on what has been going on in Europe, and uh, not only as a leader of a very important nation, but also as a remarkable personality. Uh, but precisely because you're of your exceptional status, I'm taking the liberty of uh, sharing with you some of my concerns that I have about the, uh, the European Union. You are a very powerful person. You make the basic decisions in Europe. You anoint people for top positions within the EU. Even here in the European Parliament, where you want to do something that your government does not like, like stopping Nord Stream or curbing Huguenot, there are always innumerable obstacles popping up. Uh, and it turns out at the end extremely difficult to do anything about it. Even if we can do something about it, then it is ignored by your government because your government can afford to ignore it. And this power spills over. When I talk to some of my German colleagues here, I usually hear them sermonizing. That, that's a very common here in this chamber. I would say I hear them pontificating from the uh, position of heavyweight moral champions, which they consider themselves to be. So all this is true. But in real terms, I think your political family is playing second fiddle in European politics. Interesting as your speech was, I cannot resist the feeling that 95% uh, of what you said could have been said by a uh, Martin Schulz, uh, a politician now largely largely forgotten, uh, but he was a big man once here, <laughs> and, uh, and he was pushing this chamber to the left, being seconded by the European People's Party. The truth is, Madam Chancellor, that the European Union has been hijacked by the left, which imposed on it its ideology, its political agenda, even its language. To personalize it somewhat, we just hear Mr. Bullman of the Socialist and Mr. Weber of the, of the PP. If you cut out two or three sentences from what Mr. Uh, Bullman said, they could have exchanged the speeches or nobody would have seen the difference. I can say, I can say more. I can imagine Mr. Bullman being the chairman of the EPP. And, <laughs> And Mr. and Mr. Weber, and Mr. Weber, and Mr. Weber being the chairman of the Socialists, yeah. it would, and, and it wouldn't make the slightest difference either. I would say more. I can imagine Mr. Verhofstadt taking both positions. <laughs> It wouldn't make difference, perhaps the only difference being there will be more insults flying around. <laughs> but uh, so much for diversity. Uh, the, the immigration crisis which cost you so dearly, Madam uh, Chancellor, is just the tip of the iceberg. I will not be telling you about tradition of uh, uh, German Christian democracy. You know more about it than I do. But what happened to it? Where has it evaporated? The portrait of Konrad Adenauer in your office is not enough. Where is your Christian democratic vision of what Europe should be like? Why is it that you and your political family passively observe 
as the EU has been turning into a political bulldozer of social engineering. This creeping centralization, these so-called harmonizations through the back door, more and more obscure power structure, the more big institution you make, the more power structures become obscure. I mean, that's an elementary truth about politics. Everybody knows about it. The abysmal arrogance of the EU official. The, the, the awful ideology oozing from almost every document written in a, in a horrible, in a horrible newspeak, new strange institutions, chronic violation of the treaties, all this supposedly leading us to a radiant future of Europe. But this radiant... Could I please continue? Thank you. But this radiant, flute, this radiant future is a left-wing fantasy, and I do not want to live, to live in a land, uh, left-wing fantasy. And I'm sure, Madam Chancellor, you do not want to live there either, even if it is ruled by heavyweight moral champions. Per il gruppo dell'Alleanza dei Democratici e dei Liberali, la parola all'onorevole Verhofstadt. Mr. President, Mr. Lee Hutko criticized us because we have from time to time the same uh, pro-European opinion, Mr. Bullman, Mr. Weber and myself. Well, I'm proud.